Miracle Ice Cave Rescue in Wyoming. A husband and wife trapped for more than 30 hours in freezing temperatures. The couple saying it was the thought of their one-year-old daughter that kept them going. They spoke exclusively with ABC's Kana Whitworth, who joins us now from Idaho. Good morning to you, Kana. Michael, good morning. It was so cold in that cave that their oranges froze in their packs so dark they couldn't see their hands in front of their faces. Ultimately, it was Jessica's mom who alerted authorities who rescued them as they were on the brink of death. It was supposed to be a birthday celebration for adventure-loving couple Jessica and Spencer Christiansen. They were in the Wyoming Darby Ice Cave. It's a lot of ice, very cold. The walls sparkle because there's so much ice. I can't believe how big this cave is. You can see from this video what the inside of the cave looks like. Dark and freezing, surrounded by ice and water. Going down to the first rappel. The pair, who are experienced climbers, suddenly found themselves lost and stranded. She was digging random rocks and random dirt. She dug out just an inch and a half, maybe. Just enough to get me to wiggle through. The caves, so dark, they were disoriented. Then hypothermia began to set in. And the couple feared that they might never see their one-year-old daughter again. So that's terrifying to think that you, you're you leaving your kid alone with no parents. I'm sorry. In a last-ditch effort to get out, they tried to climb up near a waterfall. But Jessica, who was so cold she couldn't feel her hands, fell. I don't remember anything until I smacked that rock. I couldn't believe she had caught me. What would have happened if you didn't catch her? She would have fallen another 30 feet and I probably broken some... Probably would have broke my back or died. Mm -hmm. 30 hours after entering the cave, rescuers pulled them out. They were located about 25 feet up in a small cavern, and one of our team members had to ascend up a rope, get to them, do an assessment on them. And they found us right That's before right. we had to burn the last of what we had left. Both of their families waiting, singing happy birthday to Spencer, who thankfully lived to tell the story. The couple who lives here in Idaho Falls said they decided to burn one of their packs to try and stay alive. Rescuers tell us they get at minimum 10 calls a year to go into that cave, so they've trained there extensively, which helped them get the couple out alive. Michael? All right, they are lucky to be alive. Thank you so much. The couple feared they might never see their one-year-old daughter again. So that's terrifying to think that you... You're leaving your kid alone with no parents. I'm sorry. And, and the couple feared that they might never see their one-year-old daughter again. So that's terrifying to think that you, you're leaving your kid alone with no parents. I'm sorry. You're leaving your kid alone with no parents. I'm sorry. You're leaving your kid alone with no parents. I'm sorry. Parents. I'm sorry. So that's terrifying to think that you, you're leaving your kid alone with no parents. I'm sorry. No parents.